All right, Wayne Allen Root, it has been way too long. We both had our vacations, and it's been a couple of weeks, but we're back with the great Bill O'Reilly. Hey, Bill, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me in, Wayne. Uh, U.S. women's soccer star Megan Rapinoe, she's, uh, as we do this recording, she was in the middle of New York City waving to the crowd, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in, what is it, the Canyon of Honors, whatever they call it down in New York City, an amazing ticker tape parade. The U.S. women's team welcomed as hero. She's welcomed as a hero. And yet she's on this anti-Trump tour and won't go to the White House, wants to go to the Senate with Chuck Schumer. It's like the U.S. soccer team's become an outplay of the uh, Democratic Party. It's amazing. Uh, are her 15 minutes about up or is she about to catapult herself into, uh, you know, levels we have not even imagined yet? Well, I uh, I really am disappointed in uh, Ms. Rapino and... Uh, the pronunciation of her name is all over the place, but I've confirmed it. Um, she seems to me to be a bit narcissistic. I don't think her political point of view reflects the entire team. I think the team would like a day off from her. Um, there was no reason for her to inject politics into this whole World Cup situation, no reason at all. She could have waited uh, until afterward, but no. She had to demean uh, the president of the United States and the White House. She had to put forth some kind of half-baked idea of her objection to her country even today. When they played the Star Spangled Banner at the start of the parade, she didn't put her hand on her heart. Um, I think she's an exhibitionist. I think she is using this for commercial reasons. She knows uh, Nike or somebody will hire her like they did Kaepernick. Um, I'm very disappointed in her demeanor, I respect her dissent. She doesn't want to go to the White House, that's fine. I don't have any problem with that. She doesn't like Trump, hey, you're an American. You have a political opinion, you're entitled to it. But don't use the forum to advance yourself and your political opinion. That's out of context, it's inappropriate. And I agree with everything you just said, but I'd like to ask if the treatment would be the same towards me, Bill. If I was on the men's team and we won the world championship and Wayne Root was the big star and they said, you're going to Disneyland? And I said, yeah, I hate Obama. I'm sure not going to the White House. I wouldn't step foot in that White House. I think he's a commie. How do you think I'd be treated if I did that? I think a better analogy <laughs> is if Megan Rapino um, said that she admired President Trump and his record th thus far, I don't believe there'd be a parade in New York City for her. I don't think Mayor de Blasio right. would have uh, would have launched that parade. So there's politics all over the place. But again, I'll go back to the team, that this is a team victory. But now it's all about Miss Rapino, And that's wrong. That's narcissistic. And I object to it. All right. Well, it's also all about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The whole world talks about AOC like she's a genius. I believe she won her district with 6,000 votes in the primary, and she's catapulted herself in her mind to the most important leader in the United States of America and to the point where Nancy Pelosi, her leader, has to have a fight with her almost every day and try and put her down. So the question becomes, who's really in control here? Is it Pelosi or is it AOC who gets nonstop ink in the media? Well, Pelosi's in, in charge, but the way that she wields power is that she says to her members in the House of Representatives, look, you go along with the program or we're not going to help you to be reelected. We're not going to give you any money. Every two years, they have to run. They need money. Ocasio-Cortez doesn't need the money. Right? The Hollywood far left people will fund her. She doesn't need Pelosi's money. So Pelosi can't control her. But Pelosi is making a mistake by arguing with her. She just ignore her. Just, oh, yeah, it's her again, and, and then go on to whatever Pelosi wants to do. Because Ocasio-Cortez is hurting the Democratic Party among clear-thinking people. Is there anybody that wants this right. woman to be president? I mean, that would be a catastrophe that the nation has never seen. <laughs> and I think even the crazy left-wing loons know that. Right. They know that. So Pelosi basically is, is helping her stature. I've said this before, Wayne. Ocasio-Cortez is not going to be in the House of Representatives long. She wants to be on The View. She wants to be a star. 
And the media is well on, uh, you know, is helping her to achieve that goal. That's what it's all about. All right. Over at uh, BillOReilly.com, you've got a message of the day. It's about social civil war. And you talk about how Americans seem, you know, OK, comfortable with things nobody would have accepted just a few years ago. Your list includes right. open borders, hatred towards police and immigration authorities, on-demand abortions. It, it's unbelievable. So what will it take to reverse course and save this country? A very strong leader who's interested in the social issues. Donald Trump is not. He's not a social justice uh, person on any level. He's not a culture warrior. You might remember, uh, I guess it was 10, maybe 12 years ago, I wrote a book called Culture Warrior that predicted all of this, okay? You need a president and a leader in this country who can stand up and say, listen, California, you're using taxpayer money to pay illegal aliens health care bills. That's clearly unconstitutional. And we're not going to give you, California, a nickel of federal money because you are violating the Constitution time after time after time. You're not an independent country. You're part of the United States. So forget about any federal money. It's not happening. You're not getting it. And I'm going to write an executive order that says that. Now, would it go into the courts? Absolutely. But is the state mm -hmm. of California using tax dollars to pay the health benefits of illegal aliens unconstitutional? You bet it is. You bet it is. So that's the kind of leadership you need. And then you go issue after issue after issue. You want open borders? You want 150 million people in here? We can't afford it. That would collapse the economy. So everybody's economic well-being would be in jeopardy because you want open borders. That's insane. You need almost an in-your-face presentation, but based on facts, based on very, very strong arguments, because you know the media is going to kill anybody who tries to do that. I see a ticket in 2024. O'Reilly and Root. I could feel it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we carry it. Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we carry New York where I am. Not New I'm, York. Not New York, no. no not unless they wore a little Che Guevara beret or something. I don't know. But it is getting a little frightening. <laughs> or a tutu. <laughs> All right, Bill. Thanks for having you on. You can find more of Bill's wisdom at BillOReilly.com. Always a great honor to have you on. Thank you, Wayne.